Okay guys, so today we are going to be doing a review, an in kind of in use in action real life review of the Thermorat Parsec 20. Now this is a kind of set up and I know it's a little bit awkward because I'm trying to sit in my hammock and do or have it in the hammock too. It's pretty big for that. But um, I'm like I said, I'm going to be doing a review on this hamper, on this uh, <clears throat> sleeping bag. And when I was looking for a bag, I needed something, or I was actually looking for a bag that could work out for the hammock for wintertime camping. And this 20 degree bag, this Parsec 20, uh, definitely fit that bill. And so it took me a little while, but finally I got this Parsec 20 and I've really been digging it. And for a kind of springtime, at least springtime Alaska, cold weather bag, it is really hard to beat the Parsec 20. And I'm gonna be going over some of the reasons why I really like it for, in particular, hammock camping or hammock bushcrafting, or if you want a bag sleeping system for working with a hammock, is why this bag really rocks. So one of the first reasons is that it is a 20 degree bag and for Alaska, especially in the springtime, you really need that. Now I know like right now it's in the 40s, but at night it drops down into the 20s still, even at night. So it's really important to have a bag that will keep you warm, not just in the day heat, but also when night rolls around and it gets just a fair bit chillier. So that's the first part of this. So the next part is, so that's the first part of why I really like this bag. The second part that I really dig about this bag is that um, inside of this bag, and it's something that I can't necessarily show you guys, but back here, right around actually, I'll get out of the way, right around actually here, there's a little compartment that, and right around here, I can't really show you guys it, but right around this area, there's a little, internal compartment built in to add foot warmers and that is a really nice thing maybe some might consider a bit of a luxury but honestly i really dig that because <clears throat> so i really dig that because in the winter it can be really nice to have your feet stay warm and have that compartment that's kind of emitting heat and i think one of the big things with your feet is that because they're so far away or so far separated from your core of your body, they have a higher tendency of getting cold at night. So it's a really smart idea that they have this little built-in panel down in here and you guys can feel it and you can put stuff in it like foot warmers and <clears throat> that will keep your feet warm. Next to that, you also have a really nice kind of pocket toward the top of the bag. You can see that this is obviously the face hole here. And then you have right here a little pocket for extra things. So if you want to keep anything extra in here, you can do that. But another thing that you guys are probably noticing that isn't in there, or you guys who own Parsecs will notice that's not in there, is actually what comes, part of what comes with the Parsec. And what I find really, really nice with the hammock application is the fact that if you run a pad, which on most hammock camping and stuff in the cold weather, you really need to run a pad because that gets your body off of the hammock because the hammock itself, the material, gets really cold. If you spend any time out, you'll know even with a bag, it gets cold. So it's really nice to have a pad to separate you from your actual hammock material. So right here I'm running the Thermarest Neo Air, which I'm gonna be doing a review in a little bit. But what comes with the actual bag is a connection. And how this connection works, as you guys can see here, there's three kind of T's that lock into the actual bag and they go around the pad and they're kind of, this is kind of like a stretchy elastic. And then it also goes on to the other side where there are, if you guys can see there, without me dumping this bag out of the hammock, uh, three more T's on that side. And so it basically allows you to strap your uh, hammock, or sorry, your, um, your pad to your um, bag. So it allows you to strap your pad to your bag and keep it really solid and have a really solid connection. And that's really nice because when you hop into a hammock with a sleeping bag and a pad, it can get a little bit slippery and a little bit hard to kind of finagle both the bag and the pad into the same place. What I like is when you have that attachment, you can basically set up everything. So you guys can see here, the bag and the pad are set at the same height here up at the top. And then coming back down here, they're set up at the same distance here. So I, it works really well. And hopefully you guys can see that. But if not, 
set up like that. So anyways, there's also another connector right around here for it. So you have two connections that connect to the bag, locking your pad into your bag, basically. And that is really handy. Uh, and I really do dig that. Now, other nice things, especially um, when you consider this being kind of a winter bag or a spring, especially a spring bag, this is made with a hydrophobic down. So it has this Nick Wax uh, hydrophobic down uh, in this. So the down that is in this, if this pad or if this bag, sorry, gets wet, it's not going to be instantly ruined. It's going to repel water. It's going to try and shed it off. And another nice thing uh, that this bag comes with, and I like to keep everything kind of in this little thing for the hammock bliss, but uh, <clears throat> what it comes with is this compression bag. And this compression bag here does a really great job at compressing this bag so that it packs within reason. Of course, a 20 degree bag is gonna be pretty big, but within reason, it packs pretty small. And this also is very waterproof. This is lined with a waterproof or hydrophobic liner, or not so much liner, but kind of a Teflon deal so that it helps repel water. And it also helps keep your pad or your pad, your bag, dryer for a longer period of time so that is a really nice and very handy feature and pretty important like i said especially in springtime because in the spring everything is wet the snow now you guys can see it crumples up makes nice snowballs it's nice and wet so you want a bag that's going to be able to repel water if you do get any snow or kind of wet snow on you you want to make sure that it's not going to ruin the bag or at least ruin the insulation for you so anyways, uh, there's not a whole lot to talk about with a bag like this, other than saying that simply it works very well. I was very impressed with it when I first hopped into it. It warms up insanely fast and it keeps you warm very well. Of course, this is a bivy, so during the winter or during when you go to sleep rather, you're just gonna zip it up. It has this little snap on it and you're just gonna snap that and that prevents you from accidentally unzippering it during the middle of the night and then basically you can just scrunch it down as tight as you need to that's probably a little bit unrealistic but you can scrunch it down very tight around your face so that you make sure that you're keeping in the most of your heat and overall it works very well so yeah that's basically all i have to say on these thermo rest par parsec 20 like i said it is a really nice bag it is a little bit spendy, I'm not gonna lie, but I think honestly, if you can mount up the amount of cash that it requires to buy this bag, you will not be disappointed at all with this bag. And honestly, most cold weather, cold temperature bags are a little bit more spendy. So personally, I think for what you get out of this bag and out of this setup, it definitely, if you are going to be spending around the $400 range. This one was around $420 because this is the long version of it. So uh, the normal version, the regular is six foot. I'm six two. So I had to get the long version, which is six six. So I have a few inches of room in the bag left when I'm in it. But overall, it fits me pretty well. So uh, like if you're going to be spending around $400, definitely consider this Thermarest uh, Parsec because it comes with a lot of features, like I said, like the one that it connects to a pad a lot better than just your standard bag that you would buy. So definitely compare features with the bag you're thinking about, but definitely give this one some consideration because I really do like the Parsec and it's definitely Alaska worthy, especially if you're intending to run it in a hammock like I run it, but especially with a pad, you could run it really just about anywhere, whether it's on a tent or in a hammock like this. Uh, it works very well. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless. Hopefully you've enjoyed this, and I'm out.